The first lesson I ever got from one of my favorite painting teachers was never to use black directly on the canvas rather than just using it to mix into other paints. It can end up looking really flat and unrealistic. His suggestion was to always add some brown into your black. You can see here, even just a small amount creates a color that has a much greater sense of depth and space, especially if you were to use it in the background of a painting. But in real life, even the darkest shadows usually have some sort of color. And that color is often the opposite of that object in the light. One of my favorite things is to take two transparent colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel, like sap green and permanent alizarin crimson, and make a really rich, deep shadow color. 